Hello humans, this is a Zerg Zyclops from the Buzz Lightyear movie and I'm going to alter him quite dramatically. I'm going to make him look more like a Cyclops. And I'm going to start by using this bottom half of a vending machine toy container that should do well for the head. And for the eyeball, I want to use a roll-on ball. I'm just going to cut that off and it should make a good eyeball socket and eyeball. So getting the multi-tool out and I'm going to carefully cut around the neck of this roll-on and I'm going to make a hole to accommodate the eyeball and socket. Carefully grind it out. And I'm going to create a new head, just like that. With my trusty super glue, I'm going to be quite messy with this because I want to create a lot of rust effects. So using super glue and baking powder, it's going to give me the strength and texture that I'm looking for. I'm just going to use this technique all over the body of the robot, just in random places. It's really going to be um, distressed and rusty and battle damaged. And it's going to look quite gnarly, I think. The baking powder has some sort of a chemical reaction with the super glue and it dries practically immediately and super hard. So going to randomly distress the plastic with the multi-tool just to chew it up a bit, give it some battle damage. And to give him some antenna, it's the handles off some interdental brushes with the brush removed, of course, and they fit nicely into these holes that were already existing in the, uh, in the container that I used, and uh, they should do the trick quite nicely. Now I've painted the roll-on ball, and now I'm going to give it some veins and I simply use a bit of PVA glue and separate the, uh, the wool, in this case red wool, for red veins. And it's quite an effective technique for creating veins in eyeballs. And you just brush it in with the um, PVA. Now I'm just carefully trying to paint around iris and uh, to make it look more like an eye. I'm just making it up with the colours as I go along. A bit of blue, a bit of red, give me a little bit of purpley sort of look to it. For the pupil, I'm just using the lid off a toothpaste tube to give me that nice round circle and a permanent marker. Remembering this is a cyclops, so it's going to have a pretty horrible looking, nasty looking eye. So I'm not after realism, just a, uh, a fun little detail.
Now I painted in silver in certain places with an aluminium spray. And now I'm just going over, back over the top of that in some areas with the yellow again. This is just a yellow okra color acrylic. And it's gonna take a few coats to um, cover up the silver because it's not a very solid paint. On the second coat, using a stipple effect, just to create the sort of texture that I want in the finish of the uh, of the body, and all this will help with the weathering. Much, much stippling to be had. This acrylic paint I'm using isn't very solid, so this stippling effect does help with um, to give me that stronger uniform look. And here it is so far, with the silver areas that I like and the other areas that I wanted to keep yellow. Yellow always looks good um, with a rust finish, that's why I chose this particular colour. And now it's time for the shoe polish treatment, which is just going to get an all over brush on and then wipe off. And this ages the finish and brings out a lot of the sculpted detail as well. And to further clean it up, I'm using baby wipes. It's a lot easier and um, with a gently, gently approach can clean it up just nice. Now for the rust look, I'm using a burnt umber with a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow to get that desired intensity and that rust look that I want. It takes a little bit of um, finagling and manipulation and you know a couple of different coats just to get that look that you want but rust is, can be quite subjective and um, it all depends on the look you're after. So my approach was the burnt umber and the red and the yellows to create the uh, raised rust areas and also the staining and the drip marks. And further, just to add a bit more, I don't know, difference to the to the look, I'm painting his hoses just with a, a light blue acrylic, just to give us a bit more contrast. Not much, but a little bit. And I'm just uh, giving it a, a tonal finish with some cobalt blue just to give it some depth and shadow. And finally, I'm just dirtying up the feet with some more burnt umber, and I'm stippling it on just to age it and make it look like grime and dirt. So there you have it, humans. Um, this is the Zyclops from Zerg that I've changed into a Cyclops, or a robot Cyclops, if you like, just to give it a bit more fun and a bit more interest. And I've really dirtied him down. Come up a treat. I really like this one, and I hope you do too.
Anyway, this is Retro Rocket Man, over and out.